I'm writing this letter to let you know I'm really leaving. I already threw away your stuff. Don't ask me for it. It's gone. Hey guys, it's your girl Miss Tiana Cole J. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, thank you for clicking on that link. I don't know even. I don't. I don't know how you follow me. And those for you who've been here from the jump, I'm sorry for my big hiatus and not uploading anything like like half a year because I don't know. I really didn't feel like this is a super dramatic um, autumn tutorial. I I, I just want to come back with bang and here it is like boom. If you love this look so far, I and mean, all this dramatic math, <laughs> then stay tuned. We gotta stop eating when I'm recording things. <sighs> I gotta stop eating, period. Okay, so my skin is already prepped. Um, nice and glowy, nice and ready. My wig is already secured in the bag. Okay, and my eyes are already intact. I look super, super, super out of Lately, I have been switching up. My products I'm going to be using my Anastasia um, dip brow this is going to be the dip brow in heavenly so now what I'm going to do take my concealer and I'm going to clean up under the brow concealer I'm using today is my old favorite fawn And then for the top of my brows, I'm going to be using my Lancome foundation. Now I'm just going to blend the concealer and the foundation out. So now that I'm done, finally done with my brows, I'm going to be using my brow sculpting gel from Ardell. Um, I like Anastasia's, but I forgot to buy it for some reason, and I had this, so I'm just going to brush everything into place so that as I do the rest of my makeup, it don't go away. So my brows look good. <laughs> yes! I'm using a new palette, so I'm not too sure how the file is going to be acting. So, because I don't know the acment, um, that's what we're going to do. We're going to be color correcting as you know um I'm gonna be using my LA Go Pro Conceal alright so what I'm gonna do I'm going to color correct one side because we're gonna talk about this how color correcting is still necessary no matter the coverage or whatever you're using because if you really want to preserve your foundation or preserve your concealer whatever you use for coverage this does wonders and the LA girl it's only like three dollars so you can really see the difference so I'm just going to press it into my skin and as you can see I put out my dark spots and the spots that kind of like burn myself a little bit because that kind of corrects it there as well now as you can see it's not going to totally mask it I'm like putting on my eyes too because I'm moving out oop thank you um doesn't totally mask everything but what it does is boom well, like it low key looks like it could be coverage. Using my Fenty Beauty foundation, um, you will not see me holding up the bottle because my shade is still out. I'm going to, I'm going to pat it onto, I'm going to do one side first. And yes, I already used it before. But I'm going to pat it over all the places that I color corrected first. And even though, like, I know people complain, oh, it's watery. It sets to a beautiful matte, guys. Like, if you really want matte foundation, that doesn't totally make you look, you know, dead, then this is, like, this is the foundation for you. Because there's, like, matte foundations that make you look so disgustingly dry. It doesn't even look like your skin. Like, we all know what you're doing. But this, I think her main focus with this, oh, look how beautiful that is. Oh! Her main focus was really to make sure, like, you it looks like your skin just perfected. That's all. Not like a 
like a desert like your skin shouldn't turn into a desert it still has life even if you are naturally like super 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 dry when you're done using it it shouldn't make you look super duper disgustingly dry like that's nasty so that's one side and you can see my color correction in my eye because i do it the most there but look how beautiful that is like so beautiful if you can i'm gonna kind of lean back out of the light and into more of the darkness before 10 it's a beautiful match by the way i'm going to conceal i'm going to be using my la girl pro conceal and fawn because i love this concealer a whole bunch So now I'm going to be taking my Sasha Buttercup and I'm going to be using my Real Technique sponge. And I'm using that because I'm going to be pressing my Sasha right in there. So now I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Contour Palette, um, medium to tan. Um, I really just got this palette for that shade there. I don't really use anything else that much. And it was at this point in the video where she was tired of talking. Now I'm kidding, the neighbors were being extra loud, so I have no choice but to do a little voiceover, but that's okay. So I'm breaking out a new palette. This is the Anastasia Sub Gold Jewel, all right? So I'm going to be using um, Edge, that yellow shade, as my first color. That will be a little bit more pigmented, but I'm not really using a white base primer, so it's okay. I just put that in the crease. Next, I'm taking Real Guard from the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. And it's not coming out as orange as I want it to be, as you can see, but we're going to work that out. And when I take an all-star, it's like a red shade, and I'm putting that on the lid, just patting that down. Yerp, yerp, yerp. Looking for something. And then, of course, blending that all in and blending it out. Next, I'm going into that um, Saharan Blush Palette from Juvia's Place, and I took that orange shade that's in there and decided to put it in my crease made it a little bit brighter next I'm taking Roxy or Rowdy it'll be in the description box but I'm going for more of like a halo eye so I took a precise precision brush and just put that you know around the lid and then I went back in with all star just to put that color back in the center next I'm taking electric and I'm going to be placing that on top of all star and it came out so nice like it came out really good and I went in with a brush to make sure everything's all blended correctly, you know what I mean? And then I just popped on some lashes and mascara and that was it. Boom! I'm going to go back into my Juvia's Place um, Saharan Blush Volume 1. I'm going to be taking Neo and Abby. Neo and Abby. I'm going to be mixing the two just a little bit. Just to give my own little color back. Before I go ahead and highlight, I'm going to be taking my Alginus Setting Spray. Um, I love this stuff. It keeps my skin nice and hydrated. My main concern is my dryness. So, my Nicole Guerrero, my Nicole Guerrero highlighting palette. I'm going to be using, um, let's do Glow Getter. The Anastasia lip palette. Um, I like to use this for my clients and I'm going to use it for myself. Number 13, which is like a really deep purple that I use all the time. And what other color should we use? Oh, let's do number three. Number three is kind of like that.
Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed each and every bit of it. I hope it wasn't too long. I love you guys. You guys are amazing. Make sure you're subscribed. I don't know how this works anymore, but I'm just going to put my hands here. If you have a thumbs up, leave your little comments down below. Share this video with your squad. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.